All right, cool creatures. Here is our grammar page for today that we will be doing. And the first thing we need to do, which we always need to do first, is write our name at the top. And this page has a nice date, a nice line for that. And then we can go ahead and write the date. Today's the 13th of April. Okay, now we wanna read our directions next. So our directions for this say, read each sentence, identify the part of speech for the underlined word, noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, or adverb. Now, I like color coding things, so I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of orangey color for my noun, and this kind of pink color for my pronoun because they go together. I'm going to use yellow. for the verb and adjective we're going to go ahead and use green and adverb we are going to go ahead and use blue. Now I can see the difference between my noun and pronoun color but I can tell that you might not be able to. So I'm going to add another little underline under noun so that you can see the difference between the two. Now we remember that a noun is a person, place, or thing. A pronoun is something that we use to replace a noun so that we don't get redundant. We don't use the same word over and over again. A verb is our action or state of being. All right, so it's kind of the impetus for the sentence. It tells us what's going on. An adjective describes a noun. An adverb describes a verb. It tells us how that verb is being acted out. So I'm going to go through this sentence. The paper towels helped me clean up the big mess on the floor. Well, I have to really think about this because paper on its own, I would be using my noun color. But if I go ahead and go through here, I know that towels are actually my noun here, okay? Towels are actually my noun. So paper towels, that paper is actually describing the type of towel. So I know that paper in this case is actually an adjective. So I can go ahead and write down adjective for paper. It's telling me what kind of towel. All right. The paper towels helped me clean up the big mess on the floor. So helped. That is our action. That is what our paper towels are doing. So helped, I'm gonna go ahead and write down that that's my, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, here it might get a little tricky because the paper towels helped me clean up the big mess. So helped is our verb. But there's another verb in here, isn't there? Clean. Clean up is going to be another one, right? So this is a great opportunity for us to think about what kind of sentence is this? What kind of sentence, cool creatures, has two predicates or two subjects? That might be an extra credit question for later. So I'm going to put a star. 
star on this number and in our zoom class on wednesday we're going to talk about what kind of sentence this is to make sure that you remember all right so our next word that we need to identify is big helped me clean up the big mess on the floor the big mess on the floor the big mess on the floor what kind of mess was it it was a big mess so we know that that is also an adjective all right so that leaves floor well floor is our last noun Floor is our last noun. So it's where the mess was. So we have our noun here. All right. Now, if we want to, we can go ahead and pick up the rest of this sentence and we could add in what everything is. Sometimes going through and finding everything can help us out. And it can help us as we figure out other sentences. So we can go through and we know that the mess is also a noun. The mess is also a noun. All right. And we remember is something we've talked about before but the word the is a special kind of adjective called an article all right so we remember that the is a special kind of adjective called an article so we'll probably talk about that in our zoom class as well so you can color code and you can go through and label as many or as few parts of the sentences extra that you want. I know that it helps me to go through and break things down. But you are looking to go through each sentence and tell me what each of the underlying words, what their part of speech is. Okay, so that's one through three. Now, number four, write a sentence using a noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, and adverb within one sentence. So you're gonna write a sentence for me using each of these parts of speech. So how many parts of speech do we have to use? One, two, three, four, five. Five parts of speech. So I might even go through down here and just to make sure, I might do my color coding again and it would not be a bad idea to go ahead and color code your sentence to make sure that you have all of your parts of speech. Make sure that you have everything. So let's see, a good sentence that uses all of these a lot of options a lot of options let's see my example is going to be that Keiko went to her large food dish quickly. Okay, let's see if I managed it, okay? Let's see. Well, my subject noun, that's gonna be Keiko. My verb, she went to her food dish. All right, my adjective, well, 
her large food dish, right? It describes her dish. Actually, I could even underline both because large and food describe what kind of dish she has. I'm going to go ahead and do three lines for my noun, just to make it clear since I'm underlining there. My pronoun is her. My adverb, my adverb is quickly. My adverb is quickly because it's describing how she went. How did she go? Quickly. So did I manage to get all of my parts of speech that I needed to? Yes, I did. So make sure you double check yourself. If you want to use the color coding, you can. You don't have to, but make sure you double check, cool creatures. All right, I love you dearly, and I'll be seeing you soon.